Good evening. Welcome back, Ellsworth Elementary students and parents. It's great to have you join in again this week. The book I am reading this week is Who Was Martin Luther King Jr. by Bonnie Bader. And the reason I chose this book is because Martin Luther King Jr. Day is coming up on Monday. And we don't have school that day, but that is also the holiday for Martin Luther King Jr. Um, this is a chapter book, so I'm just going to read the first chapter, just give you some background. And then if this is a book that you would like to check out, it is in our library here at the school. Who was Martin Luther King Jr.? Growing up in the South was not easy for Martin Luther King Jr. He was born in 1929 when black people were treated very differently than white people. One day, Martin's father took his young son to buy a pair of shoes. The store was empty, but the white shopkeeper told them that they would have to wait in the back of the store. Martin's father got very angry. Why did they have to sit in the back of the store? If he couldn't buy his shoes for his son in the front of the store, he would not buy them at all. He took Martin by the hand and let him out of the store. As they walked down the street, his father said, I don't care how long I live with this system, I will never accept it. The system in the South kept black people apart from white people. It was called segregation. Black children and white children went to separate schools. Black people had to ride at the back of the bus. As he grew up, Martin decided to fight for change, but it was a peaceful fight. Martin led marches. He banded people together in protests. He made speeches. Many people listened to his words and joined his nonviolent fight. Martin Luther King Jr. fought using his words, not his fists. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream, a dream that all people could live together in peace and be treated equally. And though he died over 40 years ago, his dream lives on. So like I said before reading the book, Martin Luther King Jr. Day is on Monday. It is a great day to remember him and to appreciate all the great things that he tried to do for our country. Again, thanks for joining me this week and have a good week.